Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Johannes and I'm a 19 year old agency owner. At my agency, JCC Marketing, we specialize in helping e-commerce um, businesses scale to and above six and seven figures. Today, I want to talk to you about what makes a good advertiser. Advertising in 2021 has been such an easy throw around word. So many people call themselves advertisers after have run the first Instagram and Facebook marketing campaign. And this is of course good for the competition, but I want to talk about what makes a good advertiser stand out and how to become one. So these are three points to help you guys out there become a good advertiser and to understand uh, the ins and outs of this business. So the first one guys, actual experience in the ads manager. You need to have sharpened your sword on the battlefield. You can't just uh, have spent $500 and then you call yourself, I'm a really great advertiser. Um, you need to have at least spent $10,000. Like, you need some experience in the ads manager. Like, $10,000 isn't even like much. Like, m many people out there spend uh, a couple thousand dollars a day, $500 a day. You need to become good at seeing the different angles, offers, uh, the ad copy, what works really great when producing uh, campaigns. And you see this uh, synergy between them, the more experience you gain from uh, actually uh, getting your swords sharpened in the field. Of course, um, you taking a course showing you the basic principles and how to set up the ads manager and your campaigns is a really good investment but you need experience upon that. The second one is ambition. To become a good advertiser, you need to be on top of your craft. You need to like your work and actually find it enjoyable. <laughs> if you don't do that, but only do it for the money and fame and all of this, then you will not achieve your goals because you will sabotage yourself from hating your work. You're not gonna be good at anything if you hate waking up to it every day and doing it. Yeah. It's just how it works. And like, you need to be ambitious about your work. For many, it does not even occur that them being lazy and not being disciplined and turning up to work and putting in the work prevents them from perhaps doubling the client's sales campaign. Like, it is such a difference uh, when you put in the work and actually are interested in your work and enjoy it. So I want to encourage you guys to blaze new trails, hit a home run, and crush, completely crush your campaigns. Like, don't put in the minimum work uh, because you're gonna get below average results. There's no going around it. You're going to get below average results from putting in the minimum work. And if your attitude is that, then you shouldn't even advertise. Like, why are you in this industry? It's not for you. Like, if you're gonna do something, why not do it well? Uh, advertising is not for you if you are not, if you don't even care about your work, but just doing it for the money. Like, be ambitious about your work. Deliver good service for your clients. It's so important. Number three, research. So there is a huge common problem that so many marketers are facing when producing campaigns. It is that they're just going off of their intuition and they are lazy and therefore they don't do the research on their product. This is a huge yeah, mistake because what differentiates the good advertiser from the bad one is that they actually know more. They actually actively keep learning. They keep learning about marketing, their client's industry. They do not just go off of their intuition and say, this sounds good. I think it will produce good results. They say, I have researched the markets, the industry compared to their competitors. This is something that will work and produce tremendous results for my client. I know this is in line with their brand and this will further help them to get where they want with that business. And this is what creates the best results for your clients. Like guys, let me say it like this to you. If you feed your unconscious mind knowledge and know-how of marketing and your client's industry and your daily uh, field testing your strategies and getting better in the ads manager and 
like you're learning and you're actually interested in your work and your clients, then your unconscious mind is gonna work for you when you're um, creating new ads. Like the angle, the offers, the just the whole process of an advertisement going out to the consumer and finding the right customers for a client is just so much easier because the advertisement is tailored towards your desired customer because you have read so much about it, you've become an expert, you've researched their industry so that you can make the best possible advertisement for your client and that is so important yeah and your intuition will work so much better for you why why would you just go off your intuition without even knowing about the client's industry it doesn't make any sense like if you're going uh, to you uh, write about cars and you're just going to use your intuition you don't know you've never driven a car you don't know how the car works works what's in it anything about that you've just been assigned to make this uh, advertisement about cars uh, to sell a car like how are you gonna sell the car if you're just going off your intuition like research it there's no getting around it stop being lazy just you're gonna you're gonna thank me so you're gonna if you do this right like you might produce an idea that you would have never imagined to come up with because you have fed your unconscious mind the right knowledge so that it can work for you and produce the right idea. So you gotta work with your unconscious as well. Like and do your research so that you just get better all around. I hope some of you guys took notes and keep this in mind when you're advertising. Thanks for watching this video guys. I will see you in the next one. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.